How are you? This is Oliver Fernandez with The Imperfect Entrepreneur. And there's been something heavy on my heart. And it's just the beginning of the new year, 2023. I'm, I'm saying this is gonna be my year, this is gonna be my decade, but I'm already getting th this, this thought and this feeling. And I, I wanna share with you how I'm working through it. So my daughter has come home and started saying the saying that I really love and it's uh it's it's been actually really inspirational and it takes a moment where you're like ah and makes it like oh, that was really cute so like a spill will happen something will fall something will break and my daughter my daughter will say daddy accidents happen and I love it and the reason why I love it is because they do happen and only thing that we can control is how we respond to the accident and her the look in her eyes and the the pure the pureness of when she says it is really uh, resonating with me, and I wanted to share that with you. Uh, so, thinking starting off the year, you know, everybody's ready to go, ready to roll, and and things are happening. You know, they always happen, right? They, things are things are coming up, things that you didn't expect are, are happening, and I had this thought and I had this feeling of like, oh. How am I gonna make this my year? How am I gonna make this my decade? And it was overwhelming. It was like, oh, it just felt so heavy. And the reason why I wanna share it is I know other people are, are struggling with this. I know it because I've, even though I'm at where I'm at and I have a long way to go, I've always struggled this with this. I've always wanted and had this desire to want more and, and be more, do more and have more. But. I, but at the same time, there's always been this, this, this thing that like will come up, and it's like, oh, am I really meant for this, or am you know, can I really, can we really make this happen as a team together? And and I reminded myself to just control the controllable. Like I can't control whether people are going to show up. I can't control whether people are going to do what they say they're going to do. I can't control whether my, my whether my partner is going to want to be in or be out. I can't control whether my team members want to be in or be out. But only thing I can control is is me showing up. Only thing I can control is the message that I, and the story that I continue to tell the team members that are here. Only thing I can control is 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 my energy and 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 in hopes that my energy can inspire my team members, the people that look up to me, the people that that want want more in their life. And, and that's it, right? And so yes, that thought of maybe this isn't gonna be year, my year or maybe this isn't gonna be my decade comes up and that's the fear thing. But it's, and it happens for, I don't know if it happens for everybody because I can't speak for everybody, but I know it happens for me. And the moment that happens, we need to just control the controllable. And the only way you can control the controllable is if you have the courage to step up to it. The courage to just move, move one more day. The courage to just do one more podcast. You know, there's been times where I'm like, oh, you know, like, uh, do, am I gonna continue on with this podcast? And then I randomly out of the blue, I'll get a text from one of my friends or someone that's listening to the podcast or I'll get a message or I'll get a, uh, I'll read the comments and they're like, man, I, I really resonated with me. That really inspired me to keep going. That really, you know, really set up, the, that model that you just talked about really set up the future for me. And it's like, man, that's exactly why I'm so glad I said, let me just do one more podcast. You know, maybe thinking about the next year or the next 10 years is too overwhelming in the moment for me. So I just say, let me just do that next podcast. Just one more, oh, just just give give it one more, just one more. And then by the time I do that one more and I do that two more and three more, I built the momentum again. The, the my 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 flow is back, and I just want to. I I know this this that time of the year, and you know you start looking looking over and you start getting reflective, and you're just like, man, you know it, this is harder than I expected. Well, accidents happen. Expect it to be harder than you expected. Like, like, let's go. Uh, you know, this is this is where it happens. You know, you don't you don't want to. I tell myself, I, I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to look back. I don't. I don't want to regret the things that I didn't do. And in order for me not to regret the things that I didn't do, I need to just start taking action today. Yes, it's not going to be perfect. The social media stuff that I've done is never perfect. The the business that I have still isn't perfect. It's getting better. 
I'm constant, constantly and never endingly trying to approve the business. But I'm just continuing to move forward and continuing to move forward. And I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to stop because then that's when the, the real problems happen. You know, it's like, you know, even, even in the business, right? When you get a, if you get a lull in your business and you stop generating income, all of a sudden all the expenses start piling up and it's like, man, I just got to keep moving. I just got to keep the money flowing. Cause like you, you, when you, when, when you don't, it, it's like all, everything that all the expenses just keep coming in and, and you don't have anything to pay that stuff back. And it's just like, it's overwhelming. So the best thing to do is just keep moving forward. And, and for me, it's controlling the control boat. Oliver, just give it one more day. Oliver, just give it another day. Give it another day. I don't want to, I had a situation, another situation that happened and, and this really has impacted me and, and I had someone basically kill themselves. And, um, you know, every time I think about it, I just think about, like, their kids. Like, what are their kids thinking? What are their kids feeling? I think about their parents. What are their parents thinking? How are their parents feeling? I think about... I think about the other people in their life that cared about them. What are they thinking? What are they feeling? And it, as a human being, that, that emotion can only make you feel like, ah, oh, so heavy and sad. And you're just like, oh, I wish that person really saw what was, what was possible for their life. And in that moment, it, it might feel overwhelming. It might feel like there is no opportunity, but that is what our job is to do. A job is to find the opportunity. One of Grant Cardone's books is sell or be sold. It's either you're being sold on somebody else's vision or you're selling yourself on what's possible. And and for me, I've always had to sell myself on what's possible because man, there was some dark times. You know, people were selling me on what you know what I couldn't do or where I couldn't go. Or who I couldn't be, and 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 and, and it, it felt alone. And in the moment when you haven't created anything, you st you almost start to believe this stuff. But I'm so glad when I think back about those times that I I sold myself on where I wanted to go. I sold myself on what who I wanted to be. I sold myself on what was possible for my life. And it takes time. It does take time. And when you take a, a permanent solution, like no longer being on this earth, that's a permanent solution to a temporary problem. Yes, things might not be going your way. They, people may have given up on you. Things might be falling apart. You may have money issues. You may have problems at home with the family. But those are temporary. If you just bite down and if Oliver, I'm telling this to myself, if Oliver, if I just continue to work and put the time in and put the energy in and put the effort in, I had to tell this to myself just recently, last year, we had a horrible job. I mean, we were this close from getting thrown off the job. We lost, we lost over a hundred million dollars in the, uh, not hundred million dollars. We lost over $500,000 in the job. We've completed over a hundred million dollars of the projects. We lost over $500,000 in the job. And the only way we were able to get out of that was literally to focus one day at a time. Yes, I knew day 30, I knew day 60 was gonna be a mess, but I couldn't focus on that right now. I didn't have subcontractors lined up. I didn't, people were, 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 were saying they no longer were gonna work on the site anymore. I couldn't focus on that. All I could focus was on right here, right now, and stabilizing the current situation. It was a temporary problem. It felt permanent in the moment. I was I was agonizing about it. It kept me up overnight. I was trying to enjoy my new baby. I had my new one month, two month baby in my hands and I'm agonizing. I'm in so much internal pain. My wife is asking me why I'm in a bad mood. Well, babe, I'm sorry. Like I, I'm totally consumed by this thing. It's eating up every ounce of energy that I have. And I wanna I wanna be here. I wanna enjoy the moment, but I'm just so aggravated because I, I let the company get into this situation. At the end of the day though, it was still a temporary problem. And the reason why it was a temporary problem is because I knew we, we were gonna get through it. 
my mentality wasn't we're gonna succumb to this we're gonna get eaten we're gonna get taken and we're gonna get taken you know we're gonna get put out of business no my mentality was we're gonna overcome this we're gonna make this happen we're gonna figure out the solutions we're gonna get this job done because that's who we are internally that's who we are as an organization it was proving a point not only to myself but the rest of the team members yes we're gonna go through tough times but and that's why everybody on the raft Everybody on the raft better be either rowing, plugging holes, taking water and getting it out of the raft. Like there is no time or energy or, or, or ability to just sit there and watch. There's no time or ability for someone to sit there and, and, and be a drainer in the organization. You're either doing and thinking and doing and thinking and thinking and doing, thinking and doing and, 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 and making and, and helping the organization get to where it's at. Again, it was a temporary problem. It felt permanent. Like, it's temporary that I'm, I'm having these things that are popping up right here in the beginning of the year and like, oh, but that, that's temporary. That doesn't mean that's gonna be my whole year. We're still gonna put the time, energy, and effort and we just gotta be resourceful. We gotta, we gotta get more creative. We gotta make jobs, we gotta pull jobs forward that maybe we're gonna start in February or March and pull them forward. And that's what we're doing. I, and I'm, I'm literally in the weeds training the team on how to do that because I know how important it is if I want to if I want to continue to graduate to the next level right like let's let's go back to the, the cool thing about school right is every year you get to graduate oh first grade you get to graduate to second grade second grade you get to graduate to third grade a lot of business owners they they just get stuck at third grade and they're just at third grade forever like, no, I want to graduate to the next level. And the only way I can graduate to the next level is if I have a rock solid team that is aligned, accountable, disciplined, results oriented, transparent, and ready to go after it. Ready, understanding how to go after it. A lot of times the team members don't understand how to go after it. They have, they've done all these things in their career, but they don't understand the granular aspects of what it means to get after it, what it means to push jobs forward, what it means to, 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 to really get the thing rolling. And, and I'm willing to put the time, energy and effort in to train the team because I know how important it's going to be. And, and, and the cool thing is about it is when you get team members on your team that actually can understand things and once you taught them right they can now take that that model that you've given them and start executing on it that's when you know you got a real team that's when you know you got you got something you can build on because a lot of people they don't understand like they they may have done big things in their life and done cool things in their life but a lot of times they don't know how to get to where the the finish line and if they knew how to get to the finish line they probably Maybe, you know, I'm not saying they would, but maybe they would be maybe running their own business. Maybe they would already have the success in their life. Maybe there's a reason why they don't have that success in their life because they don't really understand, they, they, they might know, but they don't really understand what it takes and how, it, how to get to that, get, get, get that thing done. And it's our job as the leader to make sure that they, they fully understand it and are, they, they got to be capable, but they fully understand and, and, and are willing to put the time, energy, and effort in to making it happen. And I'm willing to do that. Why? Because I want to I wanna build my legacy. I want to make the rest of my life the best of my life. I want to continue to do big things. And the only way you can do big things and continue to graduate and go to the next level is if you have... You, you have properly trained people underneath you that can continue to execute on, 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 the, on the things that are coming into the organization. So with that, go out there and continue to build your legacy. Let's roll.